tearing me apart. How much can it take this tiny little heart? Don't let anybody tear this world apart. Join in my crusade and fight beside this tiny little heart. Don't you take for granted everything you've got. Listen to the beating of my little heart. Tiny little heart, tiny little heart. Join in my crusade with my tiny little heart. Amazon Adventure. Our daughter Ruth and her husband Red live in Trondheim together with their children, our grandchildren Anna and Harry. But gnomes being a very social group, Lisa and I visit them often. which usually makes Anna and Harry very excited. On this particular visit, Lisa made herself useful entertaining the family and catching up on news, whilst I paid a visit to the great gnome council chamber. Our wise millennial gnome Milius had summoned me to discuss a very important mission. The Amazon rainforests of South America provide much of the oxygen that humans, animals and gnomes need to survive. And yet it is being destroyed at an alarming and dangerous rate. An area larger than 20 football pitches every minute of every single day. Say, that's a lot of rainforest. Forest that'll take centuries to grow back, even if it's allowed to. Milius, we gotta do something before it's too late. What's the delay this time? You listen to me, I want those trees cut down. Huh? What do you think this is? A fancy dress party? This is a restricted area. You should be wearing hard hats. Now get out of here. We gotta cut these trees down. Move! I will not allow this desecration. Oh, great. That's all I need. Stone Age tree huggers. Okay, lady. So where's your leader? Me want speak, big chief. Understand? I am Xena, daughter of the chief of the rain people, and you will speak to me. Okay, you'll have to do. Now get this, lady. The way I see it, a tree's a tree, and I got orders to cut down all these trees, so get out of here and let me do my job! Go away! Get out of here! Beat it, you big lug! Cut that out! I am Tuma, and I make medicine for the rain people. Xena's son, Coco, is sick with jungle fever. We understand all the trees here, and I need to make medicine from the chinchona tree so I can help the boy, Coco. Listen, witch doctor, you need any medicine, you can go to a store like everybody else. My boss has got cattle that need a place to graze, and this is it. Besides which, we've already sold those trees for lumber. So like I said, get lost and take your happy band with you. If you destroy the chinchona trees, terrible things will happen. Many people will die, and many animals lose their homes. All right, Montezuma, now you've had your fun, so why don't you pack up your feathers and your little spears and get out of here before I have you thrown out? 
If things carry on like this, somebody's going to get hurt. Those humans with the hard hats and the big machines don't understand. Without the medicine from those trees, Coco and many others will suffer. You must go at once, David. Help Coco. By saving the last of the Chinchona trees from extinction. It won't be easy, but the world is relying on you, David. Now go. Hurry, you must... <laughs> <laughs> Come back, Fred. We haven't finished playing. I've got an idea, Harry. Why don't we go and play hide-and-seek with Grandma? Close your eyes and start counting, Grandma. We're gonna go and hide. Then you have to come and find us. Oh, all right, but don't leave the garden, either of you. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, I... Oh, I'm sorry. Are you asleep? No, I'm just playing a game with Anna and Harry. Why? What is it? I have to go away, my dear. There's trouble in the Amazon rainforest, and I must go and see what I can do to help, which means I have to leave immediately. So please say goodbye to Ruth, Red, and the mm -hmm. children for me, won't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye, David, and be careful, won't you? I hope you're ready, Helen. This will be a long trip. No, I nearly forgot. Anna, Harry! Now, where could those little gnomes be hiding? Anna, Harry! Okay, the game's over. You've won. Come out, come out, wherever you are. This is great, Harry. We're going on a real adventure with Grandpa. Quiet. Look, it's raining. Yeah, uh, yeah, imagine that. Raining in an Amazonian rainforest. Now, that's some coincidence, eh, Stinky? Oh, I can't stand getting wet. It's too clean and it ruins my stink. Yeah, I hate <laughs> moon <laughs> cataracts. You're flashing me deliberately and I don't like it. <laughs> no! Hey, just watch what you're doing back there, Palapain. <laughs> now, don't get excited, Trolley. Sit down. Sit down, you'll have us in the water. The boat's gonna tip over now. Sit down! Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a crocodile! You were made for each other. Love at first bite. <laughs> There it is, Helen, down there. That's what we've been looking for, the second longest river in the whole world, the Amazon. Okay, Helen, now if you could land just up ahead, please, I need to ask directions. That way I'll be able to get my bearings. Oh, Harry, where are we? Oh, hey, I wonder what this place is. Huh? Anna, Harry, what are you doing here? You little stowaways? Oh, dear, your parents are going to be terribly worried about you. We're very sorry, Grandma. Huh? Gnomes as young as you are meant to stay close to home. You know that you're both far too young to come with me. You're only 20 years old. Yeah, we know, but we want to be royal environmental knights too, Grandpa, can we? Yeah! Ooh! Ha! <laughs> Well, you can never be too young to help protect the environment. And now that both of you are already here, then you may as well stay. Oh! But huh? you must promise to stay close to me at all times. The Amazon rainforest is the biggest in the world, and although there are many beautiful and wondrous sights here, there are also dangers, and it'll be all too easy to get lost. And... I'm over here, Grandpa! Harry? Uh, Harry? Uh -huh. Harry! <laughs> Hey! Ooh! 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 Ooh!
Like I was saying, Harry, there are some very dangerous creatures in the rainforest, and you have to be extra careful. Huh? Anna, hold up. And some very dangerous plants, too. Hello there. Who are you saying hello to, Grandpa? I was saying hello to Sadie. She's a manatee. Manatees are mammals like whales, seals, and dolphins, and she's going to take us to the rain people, the people that I've been sent here to help. Rain people, huh? Well, let's get going. <laughs> Here. You stay here, Helen, and get some rest. I'll be back later. I see Coco is still no better. We must get the medicine. I will get the medicine to cure my son. Those men and machines who wish to cut down trees do not frighten me. in the river. Maybe that'll give her a chance to cool off some. Ha! I will return with my warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Not much further now, Trolley. Smoke pollution and destruction are only a few meters ahead. And with the smoke, there's fire. Let's hurry, Jewel. I want to get something burning. In a way. Some people got no respect for nature. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of this. <laughs> you must think I'm dumb as a post. <laughs> no fence post gets the better of me. Thanks, Brook. You're so smart. You either got it or you ain't. Yeah, come on now, let go of me! Now, knock it up, trolleys. We got trouble and may hand the cards. Look over there, what a huge snake! That's an anaconda, a native snake of the Amazon and the largest in the world. Oh, yes, that's a jaguar. I'll take it from here! I'll take it from here! Oh. Hey, this is fun! Thanks for your help, Sadie. Sorry to fly out on you like this, but we've got to help that boy Coco as soon as we can. Hello there, I'm Chetty. Chetty the McCall, how are you? Well, you're a very rare bird, Chetty. You got that right, Bob. Now just enjoy the flight. Ah! Ah! The trees here are really tall, Grandpa. Yes, and some of the biggest are over 100 meters high. Hey, look, some houses. It's a village. We're here, folks. This is it. Ah! That's Xena and her warriors, and from the look of them, I'd say they're prepared to fight to save those trees. And we'll help them, but first we gotta save the little boy who needs us most. Let's find Coco. He has a very high fever. Oh, dear! What is it, Grandpa? What's wrong with him? I'm afraid he's been bitten by a mosquito and has caught malaria, the condition the natives call jungle fever, and it's really quite advanced. Is it serious? It's very serious, Harry. Oh, but you're a doctor, aren't you? Couldn't you help to make him better? Grandpa? 
Well, with your help and the medicine from some Amazonian plants, which I shall have to find, yes, Anna, I think I can help him. So what can we do? Make friends with him, both of you. Keep talking to him. Don't let him fall into a deep sleep. Do you think you can do that? I'll be back soon. And now to get those plants. Could you take me to the forest, Chatty? Sure, come on! My name is Coco. Are you forest spirits? <laughs> no, silly, we're just gnomes. That's right, and we're here to keep you awake until our grandfather gets back with some medicine to make you feel better. So don't fall asleep on us now, will you, okay? Our grandfather is a royal environmental knight. A royal environment? He's dedicated to saving things. Just like your mother is trying to save the medicine trees, our grandfather is trying to save the whole Amazonian rainforest. In fact, the whole wide world! Stay awake, Coco! Oh. Oh. Thank you, Chatty. Oop. There's not much light able to get through these tall trees and thick vines, which makes it kind of hard for a fella to see where he's going. Ah, why didn't you say so, David? Let there be light! Ah, of course, fireflies. Hello, friends. <laughs> why, thank you, Patsy. The Amazon's incredible, full of mystery. The wonderful new species are probably being destroyed before they can even be discovered. We better be getting on, Chatty. With some bark from the chinchona tree, I'll have everything I need. Up! On the board, we gotta go! Hmm? Oh no, those tree loving natives are back again! I've got to stop this fight and yet still find a way to save those trees. These trees belong to Mother Earth, not to man. Take your feathered friends and get out of here, lady! Oh! Huh? This is terrible, but how can I stop them fighting? David, can you hear me? This is Milius. You must call on the voice of the forest. The animals will help you to save the trees. Call on the forest. Is that you, Milius? Yes, I hear you. The animals, of course. The animals can help me save the trees. Just one more spoonful, Coco. Hey, look, he stopped shivering. Which means his fever is going down. Coco is still very weak, Harry, but getting better. Look, we tickled him with these feathers so that he wouldn't fall asleep, Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Gnome. I owe you my life. I wish I was an environmental knight like you. But you are, Coco. You can be sure of that. And as long as you continue to protect the plants and the animals of the rainforest, you and your people always will be. Oh, uh, what about us? Ah, yes. Now our work is done here, I better take these two stowaways right back home where they belong. Here's something for you to remember us by. Bye! 
thank you. I will never forget you all. Goodbye, Coco. Goodbye, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Good. Oh, Mother, did you see them? See who? I see you sitting up talking and smiling. The gnomes. Did you see them? Anna and Harry and their grandfather David. They were here just now. Oh, they were. Hallucinations are common with high fever, but miraculously his fever seems to have gone. It has. His fever's disappeared completely. <laughs> now listen up, Trolley. Here's the plan. See that noisy bird up there? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna scare the tail feathers off of them. By the time I finish with those flying freaks, they'll be tweeting on the other side of their beak. <laughs> okay, you get a little fun here too, Brute. I want you to use all your strength and smash that tree to the ground. Yeah, sure thing, Brute. You know how much I like smashing things. Now, Stinky, when Brute smashes that tree to the ground, I want you to sit on it. Just rest your brains on it so I can scare them birds real bad. Oh, yeah, that sounds easy peasy, and it might even be fun. Thanks, Stinky. <laughs> Uh, you stuck all them birds away, you bag of sewage! Well, I can't help it! Well, let's see if you can help this! Your Majesty, this is Anna and Harry, the children of Ruth and Red, the same children who stowed away with David to the Amazon and managed to frighten their family half out of their wits. Now come closer, children. We're very sorry, Your Majesty, ma'am. We didn't mean it. We were just playing hide-and-seek. We didn't mean to stow away, sir. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Before we proceed any further, I have two questions to ask you both. Firstly, did you learn anything? Well? Yes, sir, Your Majesty. We learned that rainforests are the lungs of the Earth, and also the medicine cabinets of the planet. They need to be preserved and cared for, because without them, many creatures will die and become extinct. That's very true. And the second question is, did you have fun? You betcha, Your Majesty. I had the best fun of my whole known life. Even though I'm still only 20 years old. <laughs> now you must kneel. Oh. I, King of the Gnomes, do hereby appoint thee, Anna, and thee, Harry, as Apprentice Royal Environmental Knights to the New World of the Gnomes. May you carry out all your duties wisely and with compassion. Oh, thank you! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We were delighted that Harry and Anna had been appointed Apprentice Royal Environmental Knights. <laughs> <laughs> but every minute of every day, humans destroy more and more of the rainforest, and with it both known and unknown species of plants and animals, and much of the Earth's oxygen too. If the rainforests are allowed to die, the Earth could die as well. Each and every gnome and each and every human on Earth must work hard to make sure that this never happens. Another of the world's unique habitats is in danger. A human mega rock star has fallen in love with the Everglades and plans to build a theme park there. Such a construction would upset the delicate balance of nature and harm the Everglades as a whole. So the time has come to call on the forces of nature. The gnomes are on their way. Unfortunately, some other friends are coming too. The Trolls, Drool, Stinky and Brute are rushing to get their tickets for an unforgettable ride. So don't miss the next exciting adventure of The New World of the Gnomes! Take good care of the trees in the forest Take good care of the birds in the sky 
good care of the fish in the ocean For you'll never, you'll never know why You're gonna need them someday It's a time for believing And for making things right So go on your way And pray every day Cause everything's gonna be alright 